Many people who are endurance racing fans, including myself, know that 2023 is fitting to be fire. The top level of sports car racing at Le Mans will be packed with several manufacturers battling for the win. But today in this video, we will go over the new exciting Ferrari LMH car that will race next year. The 499p Le Mans Hypercar. Speaking of talking about top level sports car racing, let's hop right into it. When the Mont Hypercar class was introduced in 2021 by WEC, manufacturers such as Ferrari confirmed making a factory comeback to Le Mans at the top class after 50 years since 1973. The Italian enthusiasts were excited as soon as Ferrari made that official message. Ferrari's objective was to aim to build and design a Le Mans Hypercar prototype race car, then track test the car, and rehearse it to debut racing in both Le Mans and WEC in 2023. Ferrari first kicked off the development of its LMH car in February 2021. Then in the summer of July 2022, Ferrari teased the first look at its new prototype being developed to meet LMH rules, meaning it will be allowed to race for both the Hypercar class of the World Endurance Championship and the Grand Touring Prototype class of EMSA Sports Car Championship. Ferrari so far has only committed to the WEC League, which includes the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Though they have considered joining an EMSA round such as World X24 Daytona, we can only confirm that as rumored until Ferrari says officially they will race their hypercar in EMSA. They have a choice to join EMSA GTP later in 2023, meaning Ferrari could do only a partial season in the field and then return for the full EMSA season in 2024. However, it remains likely rather than guaranteed for now. Ferrari built their own carbon fiber monocoque chassis for their LMH car, as opposed to the LMDH cars in the same class host chassis come from four pre-built producers and use the same hybrid system. Though LMH rules do not require a hybrid system like those for LMDH, the 499P does have one, and unlike LMDH cars, the 499P hypercar is allowed to be all-wheel drive. With a 7-speed sequential gearbox sending power from an internal combustion engine to the back wheels while a differential splits torque from a single electric motor up front, the Ferrari LMH car was seen disguised as track testing around Circuit de Fiorano, Monza, and Imola in Italy for many months before they revealed the car. Ferrari had yet to name this car and announced a team and drivers who will campaign this car in WEC. On October 29, 2022, Ferrari unveiled the new 499p hypercar undisguised to the public in Italy, and at first glance, the car honestly looks stunning as roses. The 499p derives its name from the Ferrari racing tradition, referencing the engine displacement of its mid-mounted 2.9-liter twin-turbocharged V6 positioned 120 degrees, which shares the similar architecture found in the 296 GT3 race car, but it's an all-new new design. It meets the balance of performance standards by maxing out at 670 horsepower with an electric motor powered by a 900 volt battery pack charged by energy recovery system which recharges during slowdown and braking without the need for an external power source. The hybrid and gearbox system in the 499p was heavily influenced by technology used in Ferrari's F1 program. The 499p is much more of an F1 car and the design of its chassis and open wheel aerodynamic channels. Let's talk about styling, shall we? When disguised or undisguised, we can clearly tell just by observing its design cues taken from the new Daytona SP3s, such as the then strip lights. The arch muscular fenders take inspiration from the 1960s and 70s classy prototype Ferraris, such as the 312P, 512S, and P4 styles. It features an enormous double wing with horizontal blade lights across, and at the front has an extended splitter with a deep wedge curved front fascia and also then blade lights. I'm not gonna lie that I can't be the only one who thinks this looks very much like the Glickenhaus LMH, given that car is inspired by the Ferrari P4 as well. Let alone, the 499p kind of gives a strong hint as to what the LaFerrari's successor could look like if there is one since it's a Le Mans hypercar itself. All in all, the 499P is certainly an attractive racer, and even more with the 1970s inspired red and yellow livery which is a reference to the 312PB. 
this isn't only a successor to the 333SP, but also the factory-backed 312PP prototypes. Ferrari is fitting to enter two cars next year in WEC with the new factory team AF Course, a Ferrari team that competed using the 488 GT race cars in WEC. One car will race with number 50 celebrating the 50 years since Ferrari last competed at Le Mans, while the other will race with number 51, a number used by Ferrari in GT racing for years. We are bound to see these in action in a matter of months, contesting the 1000 miles of Sebring which takes place in March 2023 in the first round of World Endurance Championship. It's ready to compete against other hypercars from Toyota, Peugeot, Porsche, Glickenhaus and Cadillac next year and its Italian rivalry Lamborghini will join in 2024. Ferrari hopes that their prototype racer will bring a 10th overall victory at the 24 hours of Le Mans back to Maranello, Italy, as Ferrari is the third most successful manufacturer with 9 overall wins. Their last victory at Le Mans was in 1965. So. Let's hope that the 499P is dominant with back-to-back -back wins like in the 1950s and 1960s. And now, this is where we stop and wrap up this video. If you are curious to know and learn about Ferraris' dominance at Le Mans, I made a documentary video about it a couple of months ago. So be sure to check it out if you want. I hope you guys really did sat back and relax and enjoyed this amazing video. If you did, do not forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and you are more than happy to give me any suggestions and I did not forget any of them. I will put them on my list. Peace out, stay safe, Chris the Radar, out.